Hi beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. My name is Kimiana. This is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. So here we talk about all things manifesting, so law of attraction, law of assumption, and mental health. So if those are your vibes, make sure you hit the like below, comment whatever you like about the video. Do not forget to hit sub and gray bell so you can get notified when my videos post. Make sure you guys watch to the end because you are not going to want to miss out on anything that I have to say on this topic because trust me, you are going to want every juicy detail. I, I know what it feels like to want something so badly and want to rush through a video, but I feel like I often regret when I do that because I really, really be missing key points that I needed to hear and it changed the game for me. So just wanted to let you guys know that. But here we go. Today we are talking about how to manifest effortlessly and not care what others think. Now, this is very important because a lot of times when we're manifesting, especially if it's something new that you're just now trying, um, it could be nerve wracking what people think of you. But here's the biggest thing that I feel helped me in my process of not caring about what people think when it comes to meditation, manifesting, just being woo spiritual, uh, some tarot, things like that. We all have the gift of perception. And so regardless of your religious beliefs, you have the ability in your own mind to perceive anything the way you want to perceive it. And with that being said, the only opinion that ever is going to matter the most is your opinion of yourself because we are us pushed out. So what that means is like everything in your reality is you pushed out. So if there's things going on in your reality that you don't like, such as maybe family members or friends or just like, I don't know, anyone of the caliber that may be important to you, but for some reason they feel what it is you're doing with manifesting or watching manifesting videos or tarot or things of that nature, if they feel that you're going to hell or bad things are going to happen to you or blah, 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 then these are just people that you need to have a radar on for when it comes to them and maybe like not share what you have experienced spiritually unless you feel it would benefit them and so what i mean by that is there are a lot of family members that still to this day are not aware of what i do and as much as i want to say oh i'm a mentor who helps people manifest everyday people are like gonna be like what like they're not gonna understand and so most of the time because of that i say things such as i'm a content creator or I'm a digital creator, things of that nature. So basically I create content that people watch and I get paid for it. It's that simple. <laughs> and so sometimes you do have to have that filter up and you don't have that filter up for your, for your emotions or feelings. It's not about like changing yourself or someone else. It's not about that. It's about having a filter for certain people to be able to go through. So for example, like a lot of people know that when you're going through spiritual awakenings, which I've, you have many of them in, in, in one lifetime alone. So yeah, I've had a lot of spiritual awakenings in each. I feel like I learned something different. It all wasn't revolved around the same lessons, but there were some of the same lessons repeating themselves waiting for me to learn. And I think I fully officially at this point, I've said this a lot with my spiritual awakenings, but I feel like at this point I have officially taken care of the lessons that kept repeating themselves because I wasn't getting them. Like I wasn't, I wasn't getting with the groove of things. Okay. And so the thing is when it comes to spirituality, you have to be yourself unapologetically. I say have to, because it really is vital. If you're not being yourself and you're trying to accommodate for other people, you are not going to be able to build good relationships with that. And here's why. I have had, I accommodated, like I changed and tailored myself for who I was around the most. And a lot of the times I did it to appease other people. I wasn't doing it for myself. And so there were things that I would say yes to that I don't really want to do. There were things that I agreed with on, you know, thinking wise with some individuals, especially family, um, when I really didn't agree with them. If I felt it made someone else comfortable, oh wait, if I felt it made someone else uncomfortable, the way I talk about certain things, then I just made sure I didn't talk about it around that person because not to change myself or anything of that nature, but to protect. And I do a lot of that on a daily basis. I, I protect my family. There are people who are very open with social media and the internet and 
just the whole like put your family out there thing. I'm not that kind of person. If I care about you, a lot of people don't even know you exist. And I, I hate to say it like that, but it's a coping and protective mechanism for me. It's like, I don't know, like a kid saying, this is mine, leave it alone. Like, you can't have it. That's why I'm hiding it because it's cookies and everybody wants cookies. So why would I let you have my cookies? It's like that. It's like really just understanding that like, I have to protect my peace. And because I have to protect my peace, I do not disclose information to people. And I definitely don't do it with family either, which is shocking to most people, but it is not shocking to me. Sometimes you have to love people from afar. And I had to learn that at a very young age. I would say very, very long. I would say like 17, 18. Yeah. Somewhere around there, I had to learn that you have to love people from afar. And the only reason why that was so is because I had a lot of toxic family members. Okay. Still to this day, some of them are toxic still to this day. Um, so trying to explain yourself to a person who doesn't understand what you're doing in the first place, they're already kind of coming at it left, like they're coming at it wrong or whatever you want to say the the perspective shift is in that moment. Um, but the point of the matter is you have to put you first. You have to be willing to give yourself an opportunity to shine, give yourself an opportunity to, you know, be able to manifest freely And so you do that by removing the people in your life that make it feel icky because you're doing it. When I was first learning about spirituality and meditation, I was meditating a lot. And I remember I had brought it up to a family member and she was like, yeah, I heard about meditation. Like they wanted to kind of like make me feel weird about it or whatever. Cause I guess when you talk about meditation, people used to think of just like, hum, like you just sit in there, like, you know, so I guess she had an issue with that. And I was getting into vegan, vegan diets. And at the time I was already like really small. So to my family, it's like, oh, you know, you're going to be even smaller. Like you need to be careful, blah, 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 blah. So the thing is with these scenarios I wanted to express and share with you guys is that there are going to be people who don't agree with you. There are going to be people who do not believe in what you believe or have faith in what you do. And that's fine. And that's okay. Because we everything is us pushed out. So every single person and their belief system in this life, in this world, is then pushed out in their own dimension, in their own reality. There's already so many different versions of you that exist. Because we all are just in a dimension that we are sharing together. And you can enter any other. You can quantum leap into any other dimension all you have to do is continue to work on you and tap on you and you're not going to do it by trying to appease people you're not going to be able to do it by trying to do what everybody else wants you to do you will have to learn how to listen to your inner voice it took me years before i realized that i actually have psychic gifts and i think that they're pretty freaking strong right now but it took time like i used to think years years ago i was like i don't have any psychic gifts especially when i was learning about the law of attraction and manifesting and things of that nature i felt that i was probably very far off when it came to gifts and i felt like i was blocked i felt like the love of me was blocked from receiving any type of like spiritual help and now oh no i don't feel like that anymore i have a lot of clear cognizance i do have some clear sentience and I also have Claire Audient. That is the strongest one for me, Claire Audient and Claire Cognizance. The reason why I say that, say it like that, is because I get really, I get goosebumps like talking to people, like, and I feel their their confirmation of what I'm doing is right. It happens a lot more with my clients, I notice, and not all of them, but yeah, it happens with my clients, and I think. It's either A, sometimes a message I need to relay to that person that I'm talking to. And then B, sometimes it's just like, I feel like a a pat on the back. Like you're doing good for my spirit guides. Like this is helping them keep, keep saying what you're saying or doing what you're doing. Catch catch my drift. So the reason I'm even at the point to understand and see these, like I knew who was going to win the Super Bowl. I knew um, certain things like TikTok. Like I was really worried about TikTok a while back. Um... And so I had already originally took like a three month break off of TikTok. So I was like not posting for the longest. Like I just recently started reposting on TikTok. So I basically been posting from where I left off back in December. I think it was December. I officially decided to not post on TikTok. 
I think it was December. It was either December or November. I cannot remember. If it was November, it was the end of November. And the reason why I did that is because I already was dealing with issues with TikTok regarding my journals. And I've been still for the longest trying to get my reviews for my journals from my TikTok to my website. But I'll work on that eventually one day. So I, I had to take a pause. I had to take a pause on TikTok and just focus on Instagram. And I kid you not, like those three months went by fast, like 90 days, just you blink. And next thing you know, it's been a whole three months. Like this life is not slowing down for us. That's all I do know. And so um, by the time I got back, I was like, okay, cool. It's good to be back on TikTok. It's good to be back posting and things of that nature. But here's the kicker, guys. Here's the kicker, okay? When I stopped posting on TikTok and I started spending more time on Instagram and things of that nature, I also had more time to, I feel focus on other things like YouTube and things of that nature and I felt like my focus had to be geared like the gear had to shift not because of me but because of God like he wanted me to focus on this rather than focus on TikTok because TikTok was a big part of my schedule like posting on TikTok like even going live on TikTok things of that nature it was a real huge part of what I do and I kid you not um I was thinking okay well three months is up my account is cleared everything is good everything's in good standing i was like okay i I think i can like pick back up where i left off but i decided to not advertise my journal because i was like i don't want to po anybody right now with everything going on with tiktok they're very picky they're being very picky and nitpicky their algorithm is very nitpicky so there's certain things that really is going on when you post things as a business owner on tiktok where it's like you say one word or you or you do one little thing that's wrong, then next thing you know, they're coming for you. So I had to take that period of time to just like, you know, take, take a period of time, take a break. And so anyway, where I'm leading with this, guys, is that around the time, which was like, I think March is March. Yeah, I would say probably end of March, beginning of April. Um, I had this voice and I remember because that, that was around the time they were getting ready to like pass the bill, I think or put the bill in, something like that. They were starting the process. And I was like, oh, okay, here we go with this TikTok stuff again. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, shoot, I might not even have a TikTok here soon because they're, you know, if they ban, blah, blah, blah. And I remember thinking, I was thinking that as I was getting ready to go into my office and start working. And I kid you not, I heard a voice that said, TikTok's not going anywhere. TikTok's going to stay. Go ahead and post. It's okay. And I was like, what? Like, I really got a download, like, a voice saying that TikTok's staying. It's not going nowhere. You can go ahead and post. I was like, okay. So still to this day, people be like, oh, TikTok's gonna go. TikTok's gonna go. I'm like, no, it's not. It's not going nowhere. Like, TikTok will get sold before it goes anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's not. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, where I was leading with the whole psychic gift thing is... um. I'm able to tap into these things now because of my ability to fully and wholeheartedly be myself unapologetically, okay? And anybody who makes me feel bad for being myself, they're just not in my life anymore. And I feel great about that. And so if I can do it, I know you can because I was big on competing and comparing back then. Uh, I did have a lot of energy that was iffy about people and people gave me iffy back. And I, I, I was leaning a little bit more on the negative side of things. I'm not even going to front. But all in all, though, I learned from those situations. I've been able to grow from those situations. I've been able to think more clearly given that I've had these situations and I know how to handle my business better. So I, I got a lot of good things out of it by being myself. Also, I noticed that the more authentic I am with my content, the more people I feel enjoy the, enjoy it. Because when you are truly just being yourself and you're not forcing anything, you're not trying to be a different person, you get such natural, happy results. Like things just come flooding in like crazy. And so it's just beneficial for you to remember that the only person that wins is you. You and you. Like... So just be yourself and the people that don't accept you for who you are, don't be around those people. Don't engage with those people because we don't live on this earth to mimic and copy. We live on this earth to be creative and be ourselves. And so if you're a nerd, take pride in being a nerd. If you love true crime documentaries and people think you're weird because you like it, then keep watching true crime documentaries and stop telling people about it. Like, 
I'm the type of person, like, I am not big on the whole, like, argue, argue thing. Like, especially not about dumb topics. I call them dumb topics. Dumb topics are, like, arguing about true crime or arguing on why I don't watch politics or arguing why I don't choose to watch news. Like, I watch the news probably about, give or take four, four or five times maybe throughout the month. I'll get four or five because there are times where I'm a little more consistent with watching the news. But I only do that to make make sure I'm aware of what's going on in our world. Like, what did I miss? And a lot of times you don't miss anything because all news majority of the time is going to do is post bad crap. And it's not that that bad crap never was happening because a lot of people get that misconstrued. They see news pop up and they think, oh, like, it's so crazy that mass shootings are happening. No, mass shootings have been happening. They just weren't reporting it. Like, they don't report everything. But, of course, if there's this big mass shooting that's bigger than anything else they can't not report that too many people were involved and so it's things like that you got to kind of like weigh it out kind of deal yeah so same thing with the bridge when the baltimore bridge broke like i didn't know about that because like i don't watch news like that but when my mother-in-law told me i said no way she was like yes way and i literally watched the video and i saw when the thing crashed and the freaking bridge just plummeted so yeah I, I do wholeheartedly believe that whatever you consume is what you are. And so if it's not what you are, then stop consuming it. You can manifest and not care about what people think. But it starts with you choosing you. You got to be your biggest advocate. You got to be your biggest fan. Doesn't matter if you're a nerd. It doesn't matter if you like video gaming. It doesn't matter if you don't have straight hair. It doesn't matter if you look a different way. Like, so many of us have flaws. So many of us have what one would consider a disability, whether it be mental or physical. Um, And just because we don't talk about it and just because some of us don't get diagnosed doesn't mean there's nothing wrong. And so with that being said, stop being hard on yourself, accept yourself for who you are a thousand percent and manifest what it is you want. You can do this with scripting. You can do this with any form of manifesting. If you want to get a vision board, get one. Don't not get a vision board because someone walks in your room and says, what's that? Oh, that's lame. Like, no, who cares? Like, have faith and in, in, in stand up for you. Because the one thing you'll notice is when you stand up for you, everybody starts to stand up for you too. So just keep that in mind. Like, stand in ovation style. I kid you not. Like, yeah. But I feel like once I accepted that not everybody's going to like me, including family, oh, it's just a different level of peace. Um, I used to really get, like, bothered when I would, like, have certain successes online or I would you know like when I made my book the manifest everything journal things like that I used to really like beat myself up in the past about like family not giving me my kudos or props or purchasing an item that I created or anything but nowadays I don't really care and so it's so weird it's so weird because a lot of times when friends are like okay I'm gonna buy a journal and they do or they support me and sub or whatever I still to this day I'm like like I tell them I'm like I really don't need you to do that like it's okay like I don't know when this shift happened to be honest guys but I'm glad it did because it's such it's so much peace like I still to this day when people say they're gonna follow me I'm like you don't need to do that like and everyone always says I want to support I want to support and I'm like I get it I get it I get it, but I'm just so used to not getting support from close friends and family. Like, so I don't know. It's just still to this day kind of weird. I'm like, I don't need you to do that. Like, I'm fine. (laughs) So yeah, anyway, it's just peace with being yourself. It's peace with understanding your own ability to manifest. And if somebody doesn't like it, then bump them. Like the more you are yourself, the more you will notice things work out for you for the better. Okay, so I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. If you made it this far on this 18 minute video, welcome. You are now an intuitive soul gem. So welcome to the intuitive soul tribe. We're sending you so much love and light. Make sure you hit the sub and the gray bell so you can be notified whenever my videos post. If you guys haven't already joined the VIP Soul Gemmy Lights group, you are going to love it. There we have powerful affirmations, members only content, 12 part series. You have access to all my public videos before they post. And you would love to attend those Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday lives where you can ask me any questions 
and get them answered. So that's also coaching in itself as well. If you guys do need coaching, I do offer that in the links in the description below so you can book with me. Go ahead and choose what package works for you best. I do have different ones to accommodate different people's interests, okay? Also, I do have email coaching, so check it out. Links are in the description below. If you have not got the Manifest Everything journal, you are definitely missing out. In this Manifest Everything journal, you are going to be able to manifest extremely fast. That's why it's Manifest Everything journal. Um, I manifest super fast. That's all I know. It's like this, this, this bad boy right here, like, does some miracles. So if you have not, like, got your hands on one of these yet, you need to definitely get it. The link is in the description. I have powerful affirmations in here that literally changed my life. And I also have powerful techniques that I still use to this day. And I always get what I want. Always. Okay. So check it out. Link is in the description below. I was giving guys so much love, so much light. And as I always tell you guys, go get your boo and go get your moolah. Bye.